hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to have you here so for today's tutorial we'll be discussing on some basic sewing tools yes basic sewing tools and for those of us joining us for the first time you are welcome you are welcome to the family and if you're yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time i make a new upload it's absolutely free it's absolutely free so let's move over to what we have for today this is a ruler a straight ruler it's actually used to draw you know every straight line like when taking your horizontal measurement you actually need ruler to take your straight line it's always advisable that when drawing like when taking your straight line make sure that the lines are straight so this is what we yeah, uh, we use it, this ruler for that and then this I call this my mini pattern master that is actually a pattern master bigger than this so I call this my mini pattern pattern master this is actually for multi-purpose you can use it as a straight ruler that's this edge as a straight ruler you know to draw a straight line then this is a curve and then you can also use this for your armhole that's this inner this inner one you can actually use it to trace out your armhole this is just for you know this you can use this for varieties of purpose then this a uh, hip line I'm sorry I said hip line this is a hip curve you know when trying to make a garment or uh, whether it's a fitted skirt or a fitted gown you actually need your hip curve to uh, uh, to trace it out so you actually need this this is a hip curve then this armhole for for um, armhole curve you know to um get your armhole to you know draw out your armhole you actually need this you either on your pattern paper that's to draw out your armhole on your pattern paper or on the fabric you actually need this i uh, i also use this for for my neckline yes you can actually use those those things i've listed for different purposes for different purposes so i use this for um to for my armhole and neck line so that's that for the rulers and then this is a tracing wheel this is a tracing wheel to um trace out on your pattern paper that's probably you want to transfer transfer um what you did on another uh, on a on another pattern paper you actually need a tracing wheel to you know trace it out and then this scissors it's always advisable hmm, that you should have at least two scissors two scissors one should be for your fabric and the other should be for your pattern paper it's not always advisable for you to use one scissors for both that's for your pattern paper and fabric your scissors will easily go blunt so it's always advisable have at least two scissors one for your pattern paper and one for your fabric and then this a tape of course we all know what we use tape for to take measurements to take our measurements so this is basically what is useful there are different types of tape there is one of this one is actually on uh, 60 there is one of 120 so it's just used for you know to take measurements and then you need a pressing iron this is very very essential some of us actually wait till maybe after we finish sewing the clothes then before we now start pressing no it's always advisable when sewing there are some places that you need to you know smoothing out that you need to use a pressing iron to smoothen out before you continue there's always a difference it makes on clothes do not wait till after sewing then you before you now begin to like press no it's always advisable for you to when sewing you know try to press 
out some places then before you continue sewing there's all there are different types of iron you know so depending on which one you want but just make sure that you have a good pressing iron a good pressing iron and always make sure that the irons are actually clean so that it does not stain your fabric then we also need a pressing pad you know i place this on top of the fabric then to before i go ahead and press i do not um, press directly on my fabric i do not press directly on my fabric so if you don't have this you can actually use any um any fabric any fabric any clean knit fabric just you know cut it out into a smaller shape it could be this shape then place it on your main fabric before you go ahead and press so that's what i do i know that most people normally press directly on their fabric but for me i make sure that i place another um this or another fabric on top before i go ahead to press so that is that for this and then we need office pin there are different types of pin this is an office pin you can see it i hope you can see it this is an office pin and then there is the there is also this is also another kind of pin you can see it so it's always advisable most especially the beginners not only the beginners always try to use your office pin either when cutting either when cutting or when sewing try to use your pin to hold the fabric you know this pin enables the fabric to stay in place to avoid it shifting to one side or the other and then this is a magnet this is a magnet like when i'm working i can actually you know put this like this like just like a wristwatch then it holds the pin you can see it i'll just you know use it pin whatever i want to pin and when i'm done with it i just uh, put it back it um, holds the pain so that's that for this and then seam ripper most of us are guilty of this you know when we try maybe we made a mistake or we try to correct some things on um, on the fabric we so we just use look for um, a razor blade and then start losing it's not always advisable for you to use a razor blade get a seam ripper get a seam ripper it's it's uh, make uh, it makes it easy for you to you know loosen whatever you want to lose um to loosen the seam and it makes it neater it does not make your um your work to look rough so i will advise her to try as much as possible to get a seam ripper most of us always make the mistake of either you know drawing the fabric out like that to as in losing the seam or using a razor no it's not always advisable try and get a seam ripper it makes your work easy faster and neat then we have the fabric pen this is a fabric pen and then a tailor chalk they are both used for same purpose it's either you can make use of this or this this is a fabric pen when i use it on fabric it's you know after some time it just goes off on its own it's easy to you know clean off it's either you use a fabric pen or a tailor chalk this is just basically used for you know making mark on the fabric you know like taking your making mark on the fabric yes making mark on the fabric you know drawing out your um the shapes you need on your fabric either you you, you use a tailor's chalk or a fabric pen and then for your pattern paper you need um a pencil either a pencil a pen or a marker whichever one if you're a beginner it's always advisable for you to use a pencil because it will make it easy for you when you you know if you should make any mistake it's easier for you to you know clean it off and continue but when you use a marker and you made a mistake when trying to correct it your work might look 
rough you know the pattern paper might look rough or you know stuff like that so this is just for making mark on the pattern paper and then here is the pattern paper we have the pattern paper and the maxing tape first of all we need uh let me explain this maxing tape maxing tape normally you, you should know now we need a masking tape to you know hold our pattern paper that's to put the pattern paper in place to avoid it you know um shifting just to we use the pattern and the masking tape to hold the pattern paper and then for the pattern paper sometimes we actually need to you know trace out the design we want on the pattern paper before transferring it to the fabric to cut you can actually go ahead to cut on your fabric straight but there are some times that you actually need a pattern paper like example there are some styles on slash and spread method that you don't have to cut on your fabric directly you have to trace it out first on your pattern paper to before you now transfer it to your fabric you know and also the pattern paper you can use it for you know practice so many things to know as it just use it to practice before you know putting it on your uh placing it on your fabric and then cutting it out so that's that there are there are, there are other um sewing, basic sewing tools but i think this should this is um mainly for beginners this mainly for beginners not only beginners even professionals also use some of this so that's that if you have any idea on other um basic sewing tools you know you can you can um list it on the comment section for all of us to learn you know we learn from each other so that's that for today i hope you learned something don't forget to you know like give me a thumbs up and also share with your friend friends that might you know find this video useful yes that might find this video useful so till i come your way next time do have a lovely 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 day Bye-bye.